apparently everyone and their dad is talking about um, uh, Orange Man uh, got shot at. Shot, sort of. It grazed his ear or something. Um, we don't have all the facts, and, uh, you know, it's. I don't think there's any. Uh, definitive conclusions to be had at the moment um but uh I'm gonna be honest it, it's kind of fishy right um it's fishy for a lot of reasons um but yeah I mean at the end of the day I don't know I don't really know I'm not in the head of the deep state but uh yeah, it's a little, uh, I don't know. I, I see a lot of people like just taking this at face value and I can't really do that. I can't really take this one at face value. Um, hey Nick, amazing stream this morning. Thanks buddy. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, uh, one way or another, we'll figure out what it is to be sure. Um, my gut is going with this is not. Uh, but that also just could be like me being too cynical. I could just be too cynical at this point, but it just fits a formula of like orchestrated things that uh, the one, the one really weird thing about this whole like Trump shooting thing. Um, every single Democrat in lockstep at the same fucking time came out with the exact same pre-prepared messages like violence has no place in America. Political violence has no place. Duh, 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 duh. Which like, like, sorry, isn't your government funding a genocide? Violence has no place. America is nothing but violent. Or, or did you mean there's no place in America for violence? Um, in America, which isn't even true. There's no place for political violence. Um, unless it serves our interests and we're, we're bombing countless children and women and men overseas. Is that what you meant by no violence? I digress. The reason why it's weird is I, my feed, I just saw on my feed, and I don't know why I continue to get all of these pollutions from these establishment uh, libs, but my for you, my for you on Twitter is always filled with these stupid establishment libs. I don't know why. Is it maybe because I quote tweet them every once in a while and duck on them? Maybe, right? But uh, I saw they had, they all had the exact same. I'm asking you guys to kind of go back a bit. Do you guys remember whenever a politician got COVID, they had the exact same like template. I got COVID. I'm super happy. I'm vaccinated and boosted. The symptoms are mild. Like they all had the same exact like formula. That's what I saw the second news broke out that Trump's ear got a boo-boo. Every single politician. And might I add, all of these supposedly, uh, supposedly caring politicians have shown more empathy towards Trump today than they've shown towards the 40,000 plus Palestinians who have lost their lives due to the direct actions of the Israeli government. Just food for thought. However, that's that's about as political as I'm gonna get. I already, uh, I already did the politics thing earlier. Um, <laughs> is this how, Dr. Nick, is this how we get President Mamala? Uh, fuck man. What would a Kamala Harris presidency look like? Can you imagine her delivering 
<laughs> Can you imagine her doing like an hour long fucking like presser with her like bees in her head, just like word salads? Can you imagine? Can you imagine an hour of just brain breaking word salad? Don't put that juju on me. No, cookies, nobody fucking wants that. I, I'm i going to move to the moon if that happens. I can't do that. I can't go through four, four years of Kamala. Just let that sink in for a second. Four years of Kamala Harris. Everybody would leave. There would be no more human beings in America. <laughs> Everybody would leave to like Mexico or Canada, even though our guy is like super word salad boy too. Uh, God fucking damn it. That would be the true like dark timeline. Not even like Trump in his awful, dumb, milk toast conservative policies. Or his like is glazing up Israel. It would be four years of Kamala. Just us being like, please, just make her stop. Just just fire her, just give us chat GPT. Can chat GPT just please run the country? That's where we'd get to. be a punishment for not riding with Biden. <laughs> it's like, all right, well, here you go. Here's Kamala. And then you just get word salads for four years. Can you imagine if she gets an office and just the policies aren't even bad anymore? They just make no sense. Like, all of a sudden, hey, Abby, how you doing? All of a sudden, like, the policies just make no fucking sense. Like, out of nowhere, just American government declares war on Antarctica. And they're, like, at war with penguins or some shit. Because I don't even know what a Kamala Harris presidency would look like, but it, it wouldn't make any sense. It would be just vibes, bro. Just vibes, bro, the presidency for another four years. Can we run the country? Well, that is what a dictatorship of the proletariat is all about, my friend. Hopefully we will get there one day. A government run by the people, not by the rich and powerful. Or by the people whose brains don't work. I will say this much, though. Whether this uh, assassination thing is organic, whether it's an op, uh, regardless of what it is, it is borderline impossible now that Orange Man does not win the presidency. It was like 99% likely after that debate, because holy fuck, like, Biden.exe has stopped working completely. Biden.exe was always glitchy. It was always crashing all the time and freezing. But at this point, Orange Man's your next president. And I think you need to ask yourself, I think you need to ask yourself, was that the plan all along? Does the rich and powerful, do they just want Orange Man for the next part? Because we know, we know the anti-China rhetoric has ramped up hard. Uh, we're essentially in another Cold War. I would argue the Cold War never ended. That's what I would argue. But was that, was that the plan? Do they need a strong man, a bad guy, if you will, to carry out the next, uh, the next phase of the dying empire arc that we're in? Bad cookies. What if there's an attempt on Biden's life, himbo? Uh, to be fair, do you need to have an attempt on Biden's life? 
Biden is making an attempt on Biden's life. That motherfucker could die tomorrow. I don't think he needs an assassination. We just gotta wait. Like, holy shit. Biden's brain, the biggest assassin Biden needs to worry about is Biden's fucking brain. Because I gotta ask you guys, serious question. If any of you heard tomorrow that he died of natural causes, would anybody be even slightly surprised? I wouldn't. I'd be like, well, well, yeah, he's he's clearly like suffering from a debilitating condition, and he's in his eighties. That's kind of what happens. You die. Like the best assassination attempt is just chill, grab a beer, <laughs> fucking play some video. And just, you know, wait for Father Time. Father Time is the assassin with Biden. Joe Biden is making an attempt on Biden's life. <laughs> I mean, she might be the one trying to keep him going. You never know. Biden at this point might might just be like, Jill, please just let me die. I'm so tired. I can't read numbers anymore. I can't see. Just please put me down. <laughs> Give me the old yeller, Jack. But no, like that guy, I give him like a 0% chance that he's going to make it another four fucking years. Like, look at him. He's like... Pretty much every single public appearance he does. Part of my brain is like, he should go to the hospital after this. He should probably go to the hospital. If that was your grandparent and you saw him at like the the big boy conference or whatever, or the debate, or even the interview with George Snuffleupagus, um, if that was one of your grandparents, you'd be like, ah, oh, we should go get him checked out of the hospital after this. He, I don't know, like, shit doesn't seem to be working right. Again, on Hard Lens Media, I gave my diagnosis. Um, I'll state it again for those who uh, were sleeping in this morning, which uh, I usually do on Saturday, but, uh, you know, Kit's the man. He's a homie. So I had to, I had to wake up. My diagnosis is I personally think that Joe Biden is suffering from Parkinson's. I think it's more on the line of late stage and up to 80% of Parkinson's sufferers suffer from what is called Parkinson's dementia. And if you go, just Google the symptoms, Parkinson's dementia, every single one of those symptoms Joe Biden suffers from. And if you look at Parkinson's itself, that's what marriages them together. Sorry, marries them together. I had a Biden moment. I was tired. I was traveling. Um, that's what marries them together. Look at his gait. Look at his little shuffling, like his little shuffling feet. The fact that he can't, he has to turn a certain way, almost kind of like a, like a, like a robot, if you will. Um, all classic Parkinsonian symptoms. And then look up the dementia symptoms. There's no other diagnosis that combines both of those to provide a full comprehensive breakdown of what someone might be suffering from. Because a lot of these symptoms, a lot of these symptoms, the physical ones can be explained by a myriad different disorders and so can the neurological symptoms but the only thing that puts them all together would be a diagnosis of Parkinson's with associated Parkinsonian dementia that's what I'd be betting uh, that's what I'd be betting on and no I don't have Parkinsonian dementia stop it um, but I'll be the first one to admit 
The prognosis for that isn't good. Not when, not when the symptoms have, not when the symptoms have progressed to the level that we're seeing in Joseph Robinette Brandon. I'm sorry, but like, that's partially why Trump's probably the new president. Because the average person is gonna is looking at Joe and being like, he's not gonna be able to he's not gonna be able to do this for another four years. And the reality is they're right. There's no way there's no fucking shot. And he's not gonna step down. Not unless they like twenty fifth amendment him or something. No, I, f- I firmly believe the ruling class wants Trump as the next figurehead. And I say figurehead because if you've been paying attention, especially under the reality, the reality that we now know that the president has a melted brain, the president ain't calling the shots. They're just not. There's no shot they are. Not if Biden's on the wheel and all these important decisions are being made regardless. Who's making the decisions after 8 p.m. when he is asleep? Right? So, anyway. Um, I would say that I wish uh, Donald Trump a speedy recovery, but I fucking don't. I think he deserves the wall because he's a fucking war criminal. And I think Joe Biden deserves a wall because he's also a fucking war criminal. I, I hope he gets worse. I don't hope he gets better. Sorry. Fuck decor. These people have blood on their hands. Both of them. Trump has blood on his hands, too. The people are like, Himbo, how can you be so heartless? This motherfucker on the debate stage says Israel needs to finish the job. No, I don't wish him well. I hope he suffers. I hope the rest of his miserable fucking life is horror and pain. You don't get to cheerlead and encourage a nation to finish a genocide and earn my empathy. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I've had enough times where I've seen some horrific atrocities on my feed that caused me to cry and sometimes throw up. I have no more patience for this. I have no more empathy for the people who enable this shit in Gaza. I have no empathy for this. Neither should you. Neither should fucking anybody. Yeah, enough. At this point, you should... Fuck. I've said it before. Your empathy should be better spent. Should be better fucking spent on the countless families who are in mourning because someone they loved was taken from them forever. Your empathy should be better spent towards the countless working class people that both Donald Trump and Joe Biden's policies have fucked over. Your empathy should be better spent on all the lives that were pointlessly lost in the Middle East because of psychopathic fucking American policy. That's where your empathy should lie. Shouldn't lie with some narcissistic Cheeto game show host who got a little boo-boo on his ear and still was so fucking narcissistic that he stopped the Secret Service to do a weird fist bump thing so someone would get a good picture, okay? That's not where your empathy should lie. Should lie with the people who are on the receiving end of these sociopaths' fucking insane policies. God damn it. How long have I been ranting for? (laughs) 